I'm going to like like if we're gonna look at like trust like where have us as citizens been able to trust the government and what they say like never ever like find the time that we should trust them in history we find out lies all the time 20 30 years later all the time about in situations that they may have pr provoked COINTEL pro all of these things that's happened in history that they do to uh, intentionally i mean they put drugs in black neighborhoods just to fund a war okay mm -hmm. so like you telling me that now all of a sudden they just have found this moral these morals when they never had them never never and it's never been about us it's about money and then too like you know part of it is philosophical right so you have somebody like putin who feels like no nah, i shouldn't we shouldn't have to be a part or none of these countries here should be a part of nato you know what i'm saying the trade agreement so what he wants in essence is to go back to the old soviet union when that whole block where ukraine is poland all of that is a soviet union like when i was a kid and they were saying russia was bad and Russia was a Everywhere. terrible place. Everywhere, Russia. Terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like when I, when I was born, it was one block called the Soviet Union. I remember they had the USSR. Yeah, with that little. You know what I mean? Yeah. That Rocky Four. Exactly movie. right. Like, so had, all of that. It was all the all the yeah, yeah all that theater around Russia. Like we yep. hated Russia it, as exactly. kids. Exactly. If you've seen a Russian, it was a problem. It was like on site. Right. Because that they were painted. Russian was painted. They were painted as the villains. Yeah. And we don't even know them people. But that's also power, right? Because there's power in numbers. So ultimately, now, if that whole block is one Soviet Union, think about the economy, think mm -hmm. about all those things under one roof, it now creates unified power. And that's power. ultimately what this dude wants, because now he'll be a greater state instead of just the one Russia who have all of that. So that's really his, his goal, because... Again, and he wants to maintain his economy, and have guess, his money the way his money is, set his own yep, prices like yep, oil and all those things, yep. because he has his own economy that he can rely on and it can thrive. So that's why it's almost like a chess move because, okay, I might need to sacrifice my king to create or, you know, to create this bigger thing. You know what I mean? In chess so that now I could still win with the queen. Whatever it is. Well, well, the thing is, too, it's like, all right, if, when you think about it, right? All right, so it's like, during this whole thing, who is it that's sticking their nose in it, though, right? It's us, right? And we like the ultimate conquerors. So we like, yo, we can't let him get that much power. Right. 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 But I just look at it from Putin's Putin's point of view, he feel like, yo, this strategically, this is the best thing I could ever do right now because if if the president of the United States send send uh, all the Americans to all out war, that is going going to be absolutely catastrophic catastrophic for them politically because the country can't really deal with that right now. 